A lot of people are curious how to properly adjust the governor and speeds on your Tecumseh lawnmower. These engines are often called Eager One because they're sold by Sears or they say Craftsman on them. They work totally different than Briggs and Stratton's do, which Briggs and Stratton's use a spring and an air flapper that the wind blows on coming off the flywheel. Nowadays a lot of the lawnmowers they sell don't even have a speed adjustment, but it's actually easily adjustable. Like on that one and on this one, it's kind of factory set, but I'll show you how to do it. Just above the carburetor is a steel metal tab that the governor spring attaches to. It's not hard to see. Well, if you want to make your lawnmower go faster, get your needle nose pliers and bend it a little bit to the left. That's it. Slower to the right. Vertical is how they come factory set. That's all you need to do to adjust the governor. Always make sure your throttle's not stuck. Now the other way you can override all of that is just remove the air cleaner. Sometimes it comes off in a box. And there's this linkage arm on a little elbow. You loosen that screw a tiny bit and then you hold this horizontal arm with pliers and you just slightly move this arm. It's very sensitive. You only need to move it like a sixteenth of an inch to make a big difference in speed. Then you just retighten the screw. If you kind of forget where it was set, well they're always factory set at close to 90 degrees. On your more advanced models you have this high-tech speed adjustment. Sometimes even hooked to a cable on the handle. This, wasn't, this one isn't that high-tech. Anyways, now we get down to nitty gritty. You have one of those high tech flat screws. Well, the top flat screw, not the one that's farther back, is the one you adjust and you screw inwards to make it more faster when you move this thing to faster. So it's your governor override and adjustment. But of course, behind your air cleaner, just like the other model, it has that lever you can adjust too. An interesting tip, which most people don't know, is when you get a Tecumseh and it's not flooding out by having too much fuel going past the needle and seat, the choke isn't on, there's no problem with the primer, but it, every, as soon as it runs fast it seems to chug and puff black smoke out. Well, on the model with the box type air cleaner, there's a big square rubber o-ring in there where this bolts on. The very odd time, especially in 1970s and early 1980s engines by Tecumseh, that o-ring would come partially out and be sucked a little bit into the opening of the carburetor and that's what is causing all those problems. You can't tell if it has that problem until you remove the two screws to get the air box off. So just a tip, always check in case you have that problem. If you've taken this little linkage mechanism apart and forgot which way the linkages go on, well this lawnmower is correct. The second hole down goes to the spring and the shorter linkage and the long linkage goes to the top. So now you know. And always make sure when you're trying to start one of these engines after they sat for a long time or who knows how long they sat, make sure you take the carb bowl off and clean out the crap inside and put fresh gas in them.